And so over the years, we felt that this is the way to go. Uh, we feel privileged, of course, in uh, taking our stand for the scriptures. Uh, in the Bible, we were told very clearly to do everything according to the pattern. We're not only told what the pattern is, but we're also told that we're to perform. And uh, the big problem as we see it today, and we don't say this to condemn others, but we must do what we see in the scriptures. We've got to adhere to the pattern, and we've got to be performers. And with all the religions generally, one can go around the world and back again, there's just one clear distinction between Christian and any other. The word Christos means anointed. In other words, if you dial the right number, you'll get an answer. And the answer will be the prescribed answer. And so we do encourage our people, and uh, we're delighted. We're not uh, saving the world. We've only got a small corner of the vineyard. But we're trying to keep it intact. Now, many churches over the years, uh, no doubt, have started off as we have. They've been filled with the Holy Spirit and, um, and uh, been thrilled about all that. But sooner or later, we agree to differ. And God doesn't agree to differ. He said, you make sure that you do everything the way I tell you. And so within the confines, not of being uh, over strict, uh, a spiritual person is supposed to be a happy person and, and free, not bound by problems and troubles and so on. So we have it in the scriptures that um, uh, we have a new walk, we have a new way, we have a new concept. And we, we're believing that we might be able to hold on to our unity and singleness of purpose and so on. If we don't, we'll slowly but surely, probably without our noticing, we'll be bypassed and we'll be running second prize. We don't want this. We want to stay out in front if we can and not uh, for our own benefit particularly. We have our benefit. But to benefit others, if you tell a sinner that he's a saint, you're not helping him at all. The best thing we can do is to show a person that in their mortality... Mortis, the dying man. In our mortality, we die. But if we want to put on immortality, we must be born again. And that means to be born from above. And when the Lord came, he made a fracture in the heavenly body of the Father and the Son. Holy Spirit, of course, is the power of God. He fractured that, that we might be inducted in. It's not just a game. It's a happy situation. It's not something that you pick up as you go along. It's a well-defined path. And uh, we're not going to deviate. We're looking to the Lord to see us through now. And uh, we invite anyone and everyone to come and repent and be baptised and receive the Holy Spirit and do the good thing.